because you still look beautiful, don't you? Yes, you do. <laughs> Just like us, when we're getting older, you know, our body changes. And so this happens to our dogs and cats too. So that therefore, they need extra care, much more understanding. For instance, now, Ash is getting to an age where he doesn't want to walk every day. So if I say to him, come on, and he still stays there, I know he doesn't want to walk, he doesn't feel like it. So what I do is, when he does get up and about, I say, come on, and I will just take him outside in the front yard, whereas normally he goes in the back, and he quite likes going out in the front, and he can have a little sniff around and just walk a little tiny way up the road, and then he's quite happy to come back with me and go back to sleep. Also, I'm always very careful about what I feed the dogs. And I make sure that Ash has vitamins. And also, my, my vet gave me some tablets that have got all these vitamins in. I got them from the vet because when you buy them at the store, you really don't know if they're good or not. So every day, I make sure that when I do the food for him, that these vitamins go in. And also, he absolutely loves chicken, so he's on a special diet. So occasionally, I just cut up little bits of chicken and put that on the top for a treat. When dogs are younger, people often don't mind if they sleep on the bed with them because they're quite happy about that because they love their dogs and they'll share their beds with their dogs. But as they get older, it's more difficult for them to get on the bed. Even if you put steps up, sometimes they just don't want to be bothered to get up the steps. So make sure that you always have a very comfortable bed for them that they can lie on. And I find if he does go to sleep on the floor before I've gone to bed, I just wake him up and put him on his bed and he's quite happy to go. And I also cover him with a blanket because they, you know, in the evening, we've often got the air conditioning on. It can be a bit cool for them when they're not moving around. So I always have a nice fluffy blanket that I can put over him to keep him warm. Here we go. <laughs> yes! <laughs> as you can see, as they get older, they get a few lumps and bumps on them too. And I always get them checked out by the vet. There's a big one on the front of him, just here. Just let everybody see you. So you're saying he had one of those removed them, those Yes, lots. he did. And then I thought, well, why keep putting it through, been through that surgery? Right. And so, therefore, I've been leaving it. But this one's getting bigger, so I'm going to take him back again just for the vet to look at him. If you have any questions about your animal companion, Please leave them in the comments below and we'll answer them in a later video. And please check out Sonia's books on Amazon including There Are No Sad Dogs in Heaven. Thank you so much for watching.